Good morning everyone, I'm in a Volkswagen ID5 Pro model year 2026 and I'm doing my long distance trip test. It's Sunday morning, 5 degrees, it's 6.30, before that I, I drove away from home at around 6. We're gonna drive around 600 kilometers, I reset my trip where before I went on the highway and this is also where we end our trip. And I want to see uh, how long we we need for the 593 kilometers, I think it is. Um, and then we'll see the average speed, including charging. Um, the road is wet a bit right now. Um, it maybe will rain, we'll see. It's not going to be an amazing nice day. Um, of course, I reset my trip before I went on the highway, like I said, and I photographed what time it is, and it was at 96% state of charge. I want to arrive with 10% at the end. Um, yeah, my heat is warm. I'm on 23 and a half degrees in both sides because it's cold. I'm cold. I'm, I'm tired. That's why we're doing this. I'm using the Volkswagen internal navigation. Um, but and I even planned it in the app and I send it to the car the problem is once you have planned somewhere uh, and then you want to go on it has to be an address or a point of interest it cannot be some road when you just navigate somewhere you can use some road somewhere some whatever you want to point to and so I'm only navigating to the first charger and that's in 264 kilometers. It thinks I will arrive with 12%. I'm driving 140, but it's possible we will slow down to 130 so we can reach this. If this goes down to 12%, I will slow down. Change of plans, um, my, I couldn't reach the second charger, so Himmelkron Ionity, so I'm going to the Ionity charger before that in Altdorf, which is all, way shorter, 100 kilometers less, so I drive faster. I'm driving 160 when I can. I, I couldn't for a while because it was foggy. It's still foggy, but not as foggy as before. It looks on the camera way worse than it is. I can see very far, but uh, before it was less, so I had to drive slower. It thinks I will arrive with 25%. We just charge a bit, and then after that, we slow down to the 100 and 30, 140 as planned again. I arrived at the first charger with 25% and 10 kilometers before this charger was a uh, construction zone. They closed the whole highway. We had to get off the highway, drive a few kilometers on country and city roads even. And that, of course, uh, destroys my time today. Um, I only need 93 kilometers of range, so we'll charge to 120 or so, but maybe even less. Consumption is high still I, since I drove so fast. I charged to 42%, just charged a few minutes. I didn't even film outside, all cool. Six degrees still, uh, 90 kilometers to go, 113 kilometers of range, but I hoped that the range uh, that I have is calculated on the 160. I'm driving 140 now. It thinks I will arrive with 7%. If this changes, I change my speed. Well, if it goes to 10%, I'm fine. But if it goes to 6%, I slow down. I arrived here with 11%, perfect. Drove my 140 when I could. I'm here at Ionity Himmelkron and nobody is charging. Even at Aligo. 
I've never seen that before. We have, I don't know, four, six, twelve, uh, twenty charging stalls. Nobody's charging, just me. <laughs> So except for that the highway was closed and that horrible detour, it was a great drive. I mean, the fog in, fogginess in the beginning wasn't that nice. And then also the last leg was also a bit of fog, but not horrible. And since I was driving 140, it was no problem. With the 160, um, it was then, oh, is it, now t is it now too foggy? Do we have to slow down? But I arrived here well. I need 164 kilometers now to the next charger. Again, I own Team Wernberg well Kublitz as always. And then we have the same home. So we have another 330 or so kilometers uh, to get back to the starting point. But other than that, it was a good drive. Car drive's great. Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. And how can you do that with NCharge? NCharge is an app. You have it on your phone. When you are at a charger, you rate the charger. You tell NCharge and the charging provider if there's something wrong, if everything is great, if there's other information. Can, can you buy, go shopping? Can you have something to eat? Can you park with a trailer and charge? All of this stuff. And uh, NCharge is so happy about this information that it gives you kilometers and stars and these you can exchange for charging credit and all new in Germany and France you can use the charging credit already in the end charge app you know you don't need an extra charging provider amazing use the link in the description below to get 20 kilometers to start with Charge to 68%. I have no idea how long that was. We'll see at the end. Um, not amazing charging power. That's the pro. Uh, peak of around 140, but at 68%, it was still above 100 kilowatt. That's the thing. Um, I have 33 kilometers of margin, and it thinks I arrive with 10%. So let's see if this is true. I have around 66 kilometers to the next charge. I should arrive with 13% now. So lower consumption than expected, I guess. Um, drive is nice. Bit foggy again. It was sunny for a second, but not anymore. Um, yeah, and traffic is amazing. Almost no traffic. That's the stuff. I arrived here with 11%. Uh, have to do my trip 164 kilometers. Wasn't it exactly the same like last time? So we charge again to 68% because then I have 14 kilometers to go home from there. I'm getting my typical 131 kilowatt. Will take a while to 68%, but that's okay. That was a great drive. A lot of speed limits. Only two, one construction zone, another one will be coming soon. And then Regensburg, there's a speed limit, but then that's it. Then we have the stupid A3, just two lanes, which me and more traffic. But hopefully today, so far, traffic was really good. So I'm hoping that it will stay that way. Uh, that would be nice, huh? It would always be nice. I charged to 68% like I thought, 192 kilometers of range, 161 kilometers of, uh, how do I have to go? So I have only 32, 31, 32 kilometers of margin safety. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't want to slow down, that's for sure. That's bad. We don't slow down here but I'm also not gonna drive any faster. How is the ID5 Pro on a highway? And you heard me last week with the GTX and it's the same, just less power. Consumption is a bit lower, but not by much. Even though, yes, I drove the first 
uh, I would say 50 kilometers or, or 70 kilometers faster than in the GTX. Um, but it was raining with the GTX. So, I don't know, I think it was colder. Can't remember, but it's not a gigantic difference. It's not, oh my God. And what I noticed is the charging to 68%. I think it's a bit longer. But I have to see. We, we, all, we do this all at home. But driving overall is nice. The best is the steering assist, travel assist. It just touch it a bit and everything is fine. It, it doesn't complain. Hey, you have to touch the steering wheel. I don't have to press hard. Don't have to steer against it. It's awesome. And it just works. It, even uh, when there was sun, it was extreme sun in my face. It still worked. Uh, really really nice and in, in a corner with 140 even a strong corner really awesome <music> 79 kilometers to go I have enough range what is this almost uh, 37 kilometers of margin it's fine all good I'm happy uh, 8 degrees out there I can't wait to be at home I'm a bit tired today it was exhausting with the fog and with the stupid uh, road closure there on the highway I arrived at exactly 12 o'clock with 12% and this is my driving data and I had no brakes uh, I didn't have a toilet break and there was nothing why I would have been slowed down except for that horrible road closure on the highway let's analyze the data average consumption 268 watt hours per kilometer 596 kilometers did the car show real kilometers 599 338 minutes I didn't have any brake or anything the detour cost me six minutes but it would also be six kilometers less so I'm getting getting to a average speed including charging of 106 kilometers an hour and when we look at the charging sessions first session 25 to 42 percent seven minutes for 14 kilowatt hours only 120 kilowatts so it didn't get up because the state of charge is not that low and we know that with volkswagen id cars the other two charging ses sessions exactly the same 11 uh, to 68 percent both 22 minutes and both 46 kilowatt hours <laughs> so altogether we charge 106 kilowatt hours in 51 minutes these are not the whole energy that it needed for the drive i started at home at 100 percent and i drove 14 kilometers started there with 96 uh, percent it's more about the time not about the kilowatt hours um, used for the whole trip if the average consumption is right i'm going to do an extra video comparing the long distance results of the id5 pro 2026 to the gtx 2026 higher consumption of the gtx but it charges better and we're going to see that because i've seen a lot of interesting things um, so watch out for that video if you want to follow me on instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes i have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye